Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, July 12th. You'll be interested to know, 45 years ago, today, in 1979, Disco Demolition Night was a major league baseball promotion at Comiskey Park in Chicago that ended in a riot. At the climax of the event, a crate filled with disco records was blown up on the field between games of the doubleheader between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. Many attendees rushed onto the field after the explosion. The playing field was so damaged that the White Sox had to forfeit the second game to the Tigers. This night remains one of the most infamous promotions in baseball history. So now you know. And now, it's time for the weather report. It looks like we're in for a chance of showers, mainly between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Otherwise, mostly sunny with a high near 88 and southwest wind of 7 to 14 mile per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Tonight, a slight chance of showers before 7, then a chance of showers after 1 a.m. It will be mostly cloudy with a low around 74 and wind of 8 to 11 mile per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30% with new rain amounts between a tenth and quarter of an inch. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Friday will be at 10.30 a.m. with a high tide at 4.45 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 70 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect showers and possible thunderstorms on Saturday with a high near 83 degrees and southwest wind at around 8 miles per hour. Sunday through Wednesday will be mostly sunny with daytime highs ranging from 90 to 94 and nighttime lows around 70 to 75. Wind will be light, increasing to 6 to 11 miles per hour. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crates. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, Marnstable is at the center of an offshore wind debate, welcoming power from offshore wind farms despite growing opposition on Cape Cod. The Vineyard Wind One project, bringing 800 megawatts of electricity ashore at Coval Beach, faced little opposition initially. However, Avangrid's proposal for another 800 megawatt wind farms transmission line at Craigville Beach stirred controversy. Avangrid secured a new host community agreement, promising $16 million up front and an additional $10 million for town improvements. Despite opposition, they plan another 1,200 megawatt wind farm at Dowses Beach. State officials assure residents of the project's safety. Now on to sports. Former New England Patriots coach Bill Belichick is diving into the NFL media landscape for the 2024 season. The eight-time Super Bowl winning coach will join the long-running series Inside the NFL. Belichick will join former NFL players, Ryan Clark, Chad Johnson, and Chris Long for the show's weekly panel. Belichick expressed his excitement, stating, I'm thrilled to join my new team at NFL Films and work on such a historic television franchise. The show now in its 48th season airs its first episode on Friday, August 30th. In local sports, the Red Sox at home Beat the Athletics 7-0. And tonight, the Red Sox are at home 
to take on the Royals. In top news, Vlad Artemanov, a former Wall Street professional with Ivy League credentials, allegedly orchestrated a Ponzi scheme targeting Harvard Business School alumni. He pitched a strategy claiming to obtain insider stock tips legally, promising returns up to 1,000%. Many invested, including one friend who put in $120,000. Doubts emerged when updates ceased, leading to an investigation. By February, New York's Attorney General revealed the scheme, freezing Artamanov's accounts. 31 victims reportedly lost over $3 million. Despite the civil case, Artemanov has not been criminally charged and remains elusive. In business news, its highly anticipated Rogo taxi vehicle, pushing the date from August 8th to October. This news caused Tesla shares to drop by 8.4% to $241 marking the company's first decline after 11 straight gains. The delay stems from the need for additional prototypes and reworking certain elements of the car. Elon Musk's stake in Tesla fell by nearly $16 billion, a significant hit to his wealth. Despite the setback, analysts remain optimistic about Tesla's long-term prospects in autonomous technology. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $56,900. Ethereum is just under $3,100. And Solana is $136. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates, with several locations in the Boston area, Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. Elon Musk, CEO of Neuralink, announced that the company would soon test its brain implant on a second patient within the next week or so. The first patient experienced stable results after initial complications with the wires attaching his brain to the implant. Neuralink revealed new measures, including skull sculpting, to mitigate risk. The implant aims to help paralyzed patients use digital devices by thinking alone. A video showed the first patient, Nolan Darba, using the implant to play chess and control a mouse. Musk also mentioned a new product, Blindsight, to help the blind see. And in entertainment news, in a new legal battle, the Beastie Boys have filed a lawsuit against Brinker International, the parent company of Chili's, for allegedly using their 1994 hit Sabotage in advertisements without permission. The band is seeking at least $150,000 in damages. The suit filed in New York Federal Court claims Brinker used the song and elements, resembling the iconic music video and social media ads starting around November 2022. The Beastie Boys have a history of protecting their music, previously winning a $1.7 million verdict against Monster Energy Drink in 2014. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from one of the greatest football coaches of all time, Bill Belichick. And he said, It's not all about talent. It's about dependability consistency, and being able to improve. If you work hard and you're coachable and you understand what you need to do, you can improve. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. How 
an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.